Hello and welcome to a Smurd P video and we are on wave 3 of Transformers the movie studio series 86 and this is figure number, number 10 Decepticon sweep and yes I have brought two of them because well you can't just have one sweep as far as I'm concerned so I'm just going to move that away so we can have a closer look at one box because I don't feel we need two but it's beautiful picture of a uh, sweep there generation sign transformers sign beautiful movie sign that's on the top as well on the side we have this beautiful stunning picture up there i love the artwork on hasbro's boxes heralds of unicron big screen and spot scale detail backdrop backdrop included and then just a picture of the old modes I mean we've seen this figure before but not in this color. Let's get them out. Okay, so I'm, I'm mainly going to focus on one just for the time being. And then, obviously, I'll put them together with, with Scourge and Galvatron, Cyclonus. Um, because that makes the most sense. So, once again, we've got this beautiful backdrop going on here. And then behind that, we've got the Insecticons. No mistake there, unlike who became Cyclonus um, with, with the other change and he's a mortar sweeps terminate them um, but i've got to say i'm very impressed i've got to say i love the color on this this light blue um it just reminds me of the actual toy we got so it is a very very beautiful very very nice detail on there i guess my biggest gripe which i think i, I probably aired with the sweep is this massive piece here um, but I, I don't know if there was any way that they could have got away with that at all. But, um, hey, it is what it is. And then the only other difference is the hands on the other side. <laughs> it's just beyond belief that that's the difference in this. Um, I think the color kind of sums up that it's uh, a minion rather than a, a sweep, so to speak. Uh, and he does come with a gun. Which you can hold in the, the open hand as well. Which um, I always liked the lovely painted nails on there. Very pretty. Very cool. And he does look pretty menacing. Just look at that head sculpt. That's very nice. So once again, even though it's just the same figure, it is brilliant. And you can put this in there if you wanted to. Go pew pew pew. If you wanted to. That's entirely your preference. Now... On to articulation. So his head can turn, but you've got these bits behind it, which make it very, very difficult. It can look like that, but you never can do that. You can only take the arms up like that because it's a big pack pack. You can take it up that far as well. He has a swivel there, and bicep only a one joint. Same with most Transformers. There is no articulation on the hands, which I find a little bit disappointing. And on the legs, he can do the whole splits. He has not a swivel. Fat, what? Uh, is that just me? No, there is nothing. There's nothing. There is no sw swivel there. Just a little bit of movement on the boy, boy on the ball joint there. And then there is articulation there. So, uh, and then a little bit of swivel there. And uh, what is that? Um, so I guess a little bit disappointing in terms of articulation. But um, there is a swivel there. So, but is that a deal breaker? No, because I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. When I look at these A6 figures... I'm more interested in how they look rather than articulation. Obviously, articulation is amazing, um, but it's got to be the look that makes this figure perfect in my mind. So, um, very, very impressive. I do like the, the blue color indeed. So, um, let's bring in the other figures. 
All right, so I just wanted to get the, the big team in here. So we got Cyclonus, Galvatron. So these are Kingdom figures, um, but pretty much they, as far as I'm concerned, achieve the, the same thing from A6 figures. You know at some point they're going to come out with Studio 86 versions of these. That will be slightly better. Um, but I guess more importantly, I wanted to show the difference in color. So I'm not sure how well this is picking up, but you can see where this is a very bright blue. This is quite a, a, a darkish blue. Um, I'm sure there's probably better ways that I could have explained that, but I'm hoping you're seeing the difference between Scourge and his minions. Um, also, the, the difference in terms of closed hand, open hand. Yeah, very, very minor. But um, I'm, I'm very, very happy to have uh, the sweeps in there. And I, I, as far as I'm concerned, there was no way that you were just getting away with buying one. You had to buy two for this to be... The, the team we want, because pretty much after the movie, it was Galvatron, Cyclonus, and the Sweeps. And then the other characters, Triptychon, Octane, that you know, they were all background characters, whereas these were, these were the main deal. Now, I, I hope at some point we see a Scourge mutated version. Um, I would love to see that. I really do hope that happens. So, um, I'm going to go get these transformed so we can have a another look at them in their flight modes. All right, so here is Sweep transformed with Cyclonus and Scourge. And um, once again, just the just three of these, I, I, I'll i be honest, I, I feel like I've let you guys down because I don't actually have um, any stands that I could put these on, but I, I feel like if you invest in some stands, you could create something magical with this. Absolutely magical. So, um, I love how they look together. So, just to see the comparison in terms of how they look, you can see the different colors. So, this is obviously Sweep. This is Scourge. Scourge is darker. Sweep is lighter. And then, just once again, we'll just do a little look at this. Beautiful, beautiful Decepticon Sigma. And then the figure just looks very, very nice all the way around. They, do you know what? I know that I moaned about the kibble on the back, but to get this mode looking so, do you know what I mean? Compact. I, I guess sometimes you gotta take those minor sacrifices, even if you don't appreciate them, just to get the the perfect orc mode really great and once again the detail in there is phenomenal let's pick that up as well so um that's what uh hasbro do really well give us some really nice detail in there and underneath there you got the body you know and sometimes it doesn't always sit flush a majority of the time it does it just sometimes pops out if you don't get it in the right little groovy bits etc but yeah, very, very nice. Very, very cool. And you know, if this is flying toward you, you run for your life, people. Run for your life. You go down there. Um, right, so as we wrap up these this uh, review, the sweep um, is just as gorgeous as Scourge. And definitely, if you were into that 86 movie like me, big fan, even with Optimus Prime dying, these are a must, and um, I've got to say, um, even though I love the whole of Transformers, I've, for some reason, I've really enjoyed um, getting the '86 movie figures and season three and four figures. Do you know what I mean? I I don't know what's, you know, it's it's not. I mean, Optimus, Megatron, Starscream, all those figures are, are amazing. But, um, I seem to be drawn to these. I don't know which because it was. It was almost like a smaller cast, if that makes sense. They did focus on this group rather than the big to sell toys. Um, so maybe that's it. But I'm very glad to have a sweep in my Amada. Um, great figure. Um, 
looks beautiful, just like Scourge, like I said. Uh, I I feel like the only gripe, if I had a gripe, was it would have been cool to have a different face. That would have been the only bit I could say is give a different face because that would have added a different dimension to this figure. Um, and then just a, you can see it's just the same face. That is my only gripe with this figure. But other than that, I love the color as well. Transformers, Transformer uh, art mode is beautiful. So yeah, fantastic job again, Hasbro. Thank you very much. And um, I didn't think this this was going to happen. I mean, I think if I remember rightly, a lot of people brought more scourges because they didn't think this was going to happen. So kudos to you, Hasbro. Anyway, if you like myself, please subscribe to my channel. Um, make sure you look after yourself and embrace the geekiness. Take care. Goodbye.